Hello everyone! Today I'm really gonna help you, my non-Italian followers. Because I'm gonna give you five tips. I'm gonna tell you five things you shouldn't do in Italy if you don't want to make Italians mad. I'm doing what I can. I'm telling you now, guys. <laughs> some of these things are just annoying, but some of them are like... No. Please. Thing number one. This is legit. If you're driving and you're waiting at the traffic light because it's red, be ready to sprint as soon as it turns green. There is no like one, two, three, four, five seconds that you can wait. Probably there is someone behind you and if you don't hurry up and you don't sprint in one second after it turns green, you will know. They will let you know, don't worry not a nice place to be so now thing number two you will listen to Italians complain about Italy so much groups of Italians just criticizing Italy and just sharing all the things they don't like and things that they would want to change and everything blah, blah, blah. so if you're a foreigner and you think that you are allowed to join the conversation and share your thoughts and maybe criticize Italy a little bit just because you know it's like you know Italy pretty well or just because you've seen something and you want to say something don't I am guilty I sometimes criticize Italy a lot but when someone who is not Italian tries to say something about Italy I get very defensive and it's not just me I noticed I, I just don't know why it's okay for us to talk bad about Italy but don't do that thing number three if you go to a bar, not a club, like a normal bar, Italian style bar, like where you, you get your croissant and your coffee, unless you really know the place and you know that it's like a modern fancy place, don't go to the barista and ask for, I don't know, coconut milk, cashew milk, almond milk, maybe they have almond milk, maybe. But pretty much there are a few things that you can actually order, like caffè, caffè ristretto, caffè macchiato, Café corretto. Not a lot of choice. If you think you're going to Starbucks and you want to add vanilla flavor, maple flavor, caramel, no, the barista will probably get annoyed at you and everybody at the bar will look at you like. No. Thing number four. In this case, your enemy is a really nice, sweet lady, an Italian grandma. Don't tell Italian grandmas that you're on a diet. They won't accept that. I mean, they will say they understand, but they won't accept that. If you're having lunch or dinner with an Italian grandma, she will probably make five to 10 things for you, like dishes. Or she will cook from the morning or even the day before for you. And you say no to some of the things she made? How dare you? <laughs> No, she, she's not gonna hit you or punch you, but she's gonna be like, oh, these new generations. So you, d you don't wanna do that. Just make sure that you save enough room for your grandma's meal. And last but not least, I was shocked when I saw the video, but don't put pineapple on pizza. Don't, Italians get dangerous. I wasn't expecting that, but I, I believe it now because I saw it and I think it's possible. Don't put pineapple on pizza. Don't say that you tried it. You're not even supposed to conceive pineapple pizza, let alone trying it. Guys, these were my five tips for today. I kept it nice and short. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Bye.